This is Sarah, and today I'm showing you how I control my brood of 84 Delta robots, that's these guys right here, using a program called QLC+. These robots are part of an art installation called Light Play that me and my collaborator Mark built about three years ago. You can basically walk up to them and control all 84 with your physical gestures like they're an extension of your body. Now, when they aren't being controlled by a person, they perform more autonomous patterns of light and motion, but I actually have to choreograph these things, and I do so using this software that I'm about to show you. Now, QLC is awesome because it's traditionally used to control stage lights, and stage lights, like my robots, have both RGB and XYZ values, so they map one-to-one -one pretty much perfectly. And this is good because it means I don't have to write any actual code. So as I mentioned, each robot is defined as a light fixture in QLC and has six channels, RGB and XYZ values. Each fixture is given a letter and number value that corresponds to which palette it is a part of. There are 12 palettes in the installation, containing seven robots apiece. Palette A contains 1 through 7, and palette B continues at 8 through 14, and the rest of the addresses continue accordingly. On the software side, once each robot is defined as a fixture, it is virtually mapped to its location in the installation on a grid in the QLC software. On the hardware side, each robot has a dip switch on its PCB that is binary and corresponds to its address number given in QLC. This way, the robot knows who it is. Once all this is set up and the grid layout is matched to the physical layout of the installation itself, I can take control and play. So if I click over from my fixtures tab to the functions tab here at the bottom, a different screen is going to pop up. And there are a variety of buttons at the top that allow me to control my robots in different ways. The first one I'm going to show you is the scene function, which is basically a way to set specific still frames of positions and colored light for my robots. And I already have a bunch here that I've created already to show you as an example. So if I click the aqua bottom button, all the robots are going to, yeah, do aqua in the bottom ones. If I want to create a new scene, I click the scene button, dialog box pops up, there's drop down menus for each specific palette letter, and then I can select one or two from each palette, or the entire palette, it's really up to me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click the C palette. Those will pop up in my list. And then over here, you can see a tab will appear for each individual robot. And there's a slider for RGB and XYZ values. I'm going to turn them all on. And you can see the robot over in the corner being affected. One of the robots on the C palette. Yeah? Check on. And if I want him to be green, and all of his other buddies to be green as well, and then move to, say, this position, um, I can click Copy Current Values to All Fixtures button, and they'll all automatically turn green and jump to the position of their buddy. So one of the other things that you can do is you can create a movement effect with this button right here. And if I go ahead and select All84 to the list, if I go to the Movement tab and select some of these presets, which um, you usually see stage lights doing, like figure eights and uh, swiping back and forth and stuff, like we'll select figure eight. If I press play, all the robots are going to very slowly cycle through a figure eight motion. And instead of 20 seconds, let's say three, I'll go a little faster. So there's square, leaf, got a different rhythm to it, and a circle. So one of the last things that I can do is I can use this RGB matrix button up here to control specifically the colors. And there's a bunch of really neat color pattern presets that I can have the robots do. In this drop-down menu, there's a bunch of different things. Uh, I'm going to show you the plasma preset real quick. There's a preview here in the middle of the screen, which you can see, and if I press the play button, that will translate to the deltas, the RGB lights of the deltas. Um, to make this a bit more obvious what's going on, um, I'll pick something where the uh, it translates a bit more one-to-one. -one. So this is the wave preset, which I have set to cyan. If I click the button, you can see it translate to the robots. I'm going to test out the radial rainbow effect. If 
I click play, this is how it affects the robots as a whole. And if I click on the inspector, you can see a virtual representation of what the robots are doing. So the very last thing I'm going to show you is how to create a chaser. And a chaser is basically a function that combines everything that I just showed you into one longer, more complex list of motions. I've already gone ahead and made a random chaser. If I click on that, this window will pop up and there's a list here of a bunch of scenes that I've already gone ahead and created. So these still frames are basically one position and a color for the lights. And then on the right, there is the time it will take to actually tween. So if I go ahead and click play, that's exactly what they're doing. So if I use these functions in an intelligent way, I can actually coax the robots into doing some pretty cool stuff. And in one of my next videos, I will show you my progress thus far on choreographing them to an actual song. But um, until then, as always, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your week. And keep making, because that's important.